All right, what's up? Going to be talking about special monsters today, why I think their overall design is flawed, and why I think uh, in their current state they're pretty bad for the game. So to start off, you got your standard roster special monsters, right? Darkwing, Cronus, Rudolph, Hellhound, Pony Sparks, yada yada yada. Uh, Monkey and Limzard I don't have, but they're there, and they sort of fit in the same sort of group as Gabriel and Darkwing, which I'll talk about in one moment. Um, so when you look at these special monsters, you see some that are pretty much never used in setup, and others that are pretty much always used in solid endgame setups, right? Um... And so going back, or not going back, but looking at the idea of special monsters is to be able to get players to play more in a select time frame, right? Special monsters are limited events. Uh, you only have a certain time frame to get them. Get them from grinding out a lot of levels, grinding out cellar, whatever you want to do. Um, but they're there to encourage players to play uh, in a limited sort of time and give them an incentive to put more time into the game at one point, I feel. Um, and I think this idea is pretty good, right? It gets players more excited about the game, more excited about levels, and more excited about specials. Um, but I think the overall design of the special monsters themselves are pretty bad in a way that slows down the game progression and can honestly discourage play over the long time. And so what I mean is if you take a look at the special monsters right now, um, you have, I'd say, three groups of monsters, right? You have Hellhound in his own group where he's absolutely necessary for your end game levels, right? You need to use him as a damage booster in elemental challenges, otherwise you will not have a chance to even beat them. Then you have monsters that are slightly necessary that are designed well, like Crispy, Archimedes, Arc Archimedes, and Pony Sparks. And then you have monsters that are literally useless and you honestly don't want to have because they can become a liability and evil summoner. This is stuff like Darkwing, Cronus, Mummy King, Rudolph, Gabriel, and of course, Limsard and Monkey. And so looking at these monsters, the only ones that you have real incentive to go for is only four out of 11 of them. And I think what that creates for is a lot of time in between the special monster rotation where you can't make any progress at all in terms of getting these monsters that are important or very helpful for, for progression. As I said before, Hellhound is literally necessary um, to even be able to have a chance at beating certain parts of the game. Um, and so what that causes is sometimes you end up with these two-month cycles where a player needs to wait a long time to get Hellhound despite their current progression stage. And that can really discourage continuing to play the game because despite all the hard work they put into the account, they put into the game, they just can't progress because they need to wait this set amount of time for Hellhound. It's not even about playing more in that time frame. It's just about waiting that amount of time to be able to get Hellhound and finally start playing again. And that creates for just a really boring experience overall, I feel. Um, and it's not really good for the game. And I think, you know, I've been talking really negatively about the special monsters, but I feel that the special monsters that are designed well and that other special monsters should try to be more designed towards is stuff like Crispy um, and Archimedes especially, right? Ar Archimedes and Arc Archimedes. Uh, these two are both helpful for speeding up farming setup. They're helpful for beating some challenge levels, specifically Archimedes, but they're not necessary for the game, right? Archimedes can be used as a helpful two-second stunner, in any stage of the game and she can also be used as decent damage when she evolves into arc archimedes but she isn't necessary for any level she isn't even necessary for volcano goddess because you can just use jiraiya who's a better carry arc archimedes is simply an alternative carry if you don't have jiraiya crispy's in sort of a similar situation where crispy can help out with faster classic level farming but he just saves a few seconds each time and really isn't necessary right in the end the backbone of your farming setups are going to be jiraiya or crispy and flamey not chris or sorry not Crispy and Flamey, but Clyde and Flamey, not Crispy, who won't be necessary for those setups, but who can help out a little. And both of these monsters just provide a little bit more incentive to go for that special summoning stones rather than just abandoning them entirely. Um, a similar situation applies with Pony Sparks, and that Pony Sparks can be a good stunner for IQT sometimes, or a good stunner in general, uh, but is not necessary at all to have to complete any of these sort of levels. Um, and then you get to these special monsters that are literally useless and are so open to buffs but are still not buffed, right? Stuff like Darkwing and Gabriel, who are pure DPS, don't have any sort of element attached to them. Um, you could sort of see them as an alternative to Felina for the Nightmare levels, right? But they have so little damage, they're not even a good alternative to Felina. You're just better off upgrading Felina. Um, and I think what could be an easy fix for them is just buff their damage so that you don't need to upgrade them as much in comparison to Felina to be able to complete those Nightmare levels, right? Just to provide some incentive for newer players to get them um, or for players in the mid game to get them for those nightmare levels, right? And I think, yeah, just overall, the uh, design of these special monsters is sort of pretty bad right now. It discourages playing, um, and a lot of times it discourages, uh, it discourages a quicker progression system or a more forgiving progression system um, that is less tedious to work through. 
um and that you don't even work through it you just wait like one to two months for hellhound to appear right i had to wait i think around a month or a little bit more than a month of time just to get hellhound so i could start attempting those elemental challenges whereas if i don't have hellhound i pretty much don't have a chance in beating most of them especially the hard modes right um yeah that's pretty much it for this video just wanted to talk about why i think the special monsters are in a pretty poor state right now go over some decent fixes for them um go over you know the special monsters that i think are well designed that's gonna be it for this video like subscribe and uh yeah see ya